What's up, MMA fans? It's Tudor Leonte for Short Dog here. And today I have the pleasure to talk with PFL 2021 lightweight finalist, Taylor Guardado. Hello, Taylor. And how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine as well. Thank you very much for asking. Um, you earned your spot in the grand finale after aging Mariana Moraes via split decision. Um, my first question for you is, did you feel that the fight was really that close? Yeah, absolutely. I definitely, um, I didn't perform to my abilities. You know, I, 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 I'm not going to make excuses or anything like that. Um, but I, I had a lot on my plate and a lot in my mind that, that day, um, even up until the fight. And I just, I just wasn't prepared properly, I guess. And then like the last minute opponent changed, but I, I think it was a very close fight. Um, and I was just happy that the judges saw that it went my way. Did your corner, uh, tell you something, you know, to, to motivate you or to push you during that fight? Did they tell you, you know, to, uh, I don't know, to, to do something different in order to win that fight? They, they don't necessarily do that, but they do, um, my, my corner, Eric Nixick, he, um, he, for the last couple of fights, he, he mentions my son to me. And that's like a, that kind of gets me to dig deep. And he's like that, that person across the cage is trying to take away food, food and, and, you know, shelter from your child. He's like, don't let them do it. And that usually sends me into a different mode. <laughs> I mean, I can guess that, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, luckily it works uh, for you. Uh, you said that uh, you had a lot on your plate, you know, going into that fight. And uh, actually in, your, in the post-fight interview, you dedicated your victory to your, your mother. Um, can, can you please, you know, tell us what happened to, to her? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so she was diagnosed with cancer um, early last year um, and has been fighting it. And I thought we were doing, you know, she was doing very well. Um, and then it had spread a little bit. So she went in for surgery to get it removed, but it had ended up spreading a lot more than they expected. Um, so they ended up having to do a major surgery and remove like her bladder and her colon. Um, so she was stressed in the hospital um, and just in a lot of pain and I don't like when any of my family members or friends or anyone's in pain. And, and I was just like stressed from not being able to help her in any way. May I ask, how is she now? Um, she's doing a little better. She's had a couple of um, like infections around the surgical sites, um, but she's, she's in a rehab facility at the moment, um, essentially learning how to do things with those two bags that have replaced the bladder and the colon. And she's just, um, she's staying positive, you know, um, but she's not home yet. So she's, she's a little grumpy off of that, but it's okay. So I'd rather, you know, her get healthy and, and well and taken care of before we get to the next step of coming back home. I wish your mother to recover quickly and uh, all the best, you know, in, in her, her fight. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you will now face Kayla Harrison on October the 27th. How was your camp in preparation for this bout? It was great. I mean, um, it was, it was hard, super, super hard. I've had nothing but hard training days. Um, everything has been very, my, my coaches have been very nitpicky with me, um, which I like, you know, I needed that for this camp. And then, um, my, my sparring partner has been one of my coaches and he's been, um, simulating Kara, Kayla, excuse me, Kayla a lot and, and the throws and the stuff that she tends to do each fight. Um, so we're, we're learning how to, we've learned how to capitalize off of her mistakes that she makes and off of things that she does. But this camp has been one of the hardest camps I've ever done. Um, I'm just excited to fight. How do you prefer, uh, sorry, how do you prepare to defeat someone who has been unstoppable so far? Um, I think that the reason um, she's done so well is when, when the girls get in the cage, which they're with the women, excuse me, um, that have fought her, they, they get essentially like starstruck or, or just so scared of the takedown. And um, I think that's, that's the biggest thing is I have to be smart and, um, I'm not afraid to be taken down because I, I like going to the ground. So, I mean, like, I'm aware that I probably will get taken down, but it's a matter of what I can do before, during, and after the takedown as to how the fight's going to go. 
it's your first year in the Professional Fighters League and you are already headlining the most important card of the year. How do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. It, it feels surreal. Um, you know, I'm, I'm around Ray Seffo a lot because he's at the gym. He coaches at our gym at Extreme Couture. Um, and he, he, he's always reminding me, actually, he's like, he's like, look at this. He's like, you capitalized on the opportunity so well. He's like, you were very much a last minute, like replacement into this, this season. And he's like, and now you're, you're fighting for the title. He's like, you, you should be proud of yourself. Um, But like I, I have, I've, I've worked my butt off, you know, to get this opportunity and, and to capitalize on it. So I'm, I'm pretty proud and a little, it's still, it just all feels surreal. Um, in case of victory or final victory, you know, uh, may I ask, what are you going to do with the money, you know, with the $1 million prize, if you want to, to share with us, obviously? Um, I don't really have like any big, big plans or anything like that with it. Um, I'm, I'm going to take care of my mom's hospital bills um, and, you know, set aside money for my son um, and then probably take my family just on a trip somewhere. They, they deserve it. They've been working just as hard as I have with this camp by uh, everyone stepping up to, to help with my, my son and um, just to help with my camp in general. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to take care of my family and then um, just set some money aside for important things. Where do you, would you like to go, you know, on vacation? Um, I was thinking like Italy. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah. I'm from Italy, actually. So <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> It's so beautiful. All the pictures I see are so beautiful. And I've had, uh, we have friends that have went there before and they, they loved it. So, and I'm a, I'm a huge um, carb and wine person when I'm not in camp. So I was like, that seems like a good place to get that. <laughs> oh, I warmly recommend Italy. So. <laughs> Hopefully, I will, I will see you uh, over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd also like to hear a few picks uh, from you uh, for the remaining championships. Uh, if, you know, you have followed a little bit the PFL uh, this year. Okay. Um, so, I, okay. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No. <laughs> no, no, please, please. Uh, you're saying something. Please, uh, go ahead. You. Um, I was going to say... Uh, a couple of the fighters that I think are going to do really well, Ray Cooper. I think he's, um, I know he's the underdog, but he's um, the only one in the red corner. That's an underdog, which I thought was funny, but I think he's going to, I think he's going to take the victory. Um, I think Chris Wade has adapted really well for his last two fights. Um, and I think he's going to get the victory as well. Um, who else? Who else am I missing? Uh, what about the, you know, the men's lightweight? Um, sorry, the, the men uh, lightweights, uh, Razabov or uh, Ra Raush Manfio? I think uh, Razabov will take it. Um, yeah, I just think his, he's, he's a very dominant fighter and he's very controlling. Um, and I think he's going to take it. And then, um, for the heavyweights, um, I'm going with Bruno Capalosa. Um, he's insane and you know he, he's been doing a lot of his camp out here at extreme couture so we're basically teammates now and he's he's so good it's it's scary how good he is we are missing just uh one away division uh the light heavyweight uh would you pick Ant antonio carlos jr or martin hamlet um that one's a tough one i i don't know um I want to say Martin Hamlet. I think Martin Hamlet is he he's good at um he's good at all things, you know? He's he's really good at at just all aspects of MMA in my opinion. Um but I don't know, you know? That's a good fight. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they all are good fights, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, this year PFL really put some quite a show for for the championships. Um I know that you are focusing right now on, on the finale, it's obvious, but um, have you already thought or about your future or has the promotion already uh, came to, to talk with you, you know, about the 2022 um, season? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, they told me I can, I can be in the next season. Um, they, they already offered it to me, which I'm excited about. Um, but me and my coaches um, are going back and forth on whether or not I want to stay at 155 or go back down to 135. Um, so we're, we're still discussing it here and there. Um, it's just, it'll come with time. But for now, after this fight, we're just going to take a little time off and chill and 
hang out with my family for the first time in like six months. <laughs> Would you like PFL, you know, to add more weight categories for um, women? Oh my God, I would love that. They, they are seriously the best promotion. Literally everyone behind the scenes and people that you see on screen, like everyone with PFL is so good. So if they, <clears throat> excuse me, if they added, you know, like a few different women's weight classes, that would be so amazing because I guarantee you people would, would rush over there. It's, it's such a good promotion. There's no reason not to. Well, hopefully the promotion will listen. Racy for please. And right. some, <laughs> some more uh, away divisions. Uh, before I let you go, do you have any last message? Um, no, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm just really excited to perform. I know a lot of people are, a lot of people are counting me out um, and, and expecting a quick victory from Kayla, but I think that they're going to be excited and shocked to see the, how the fight actually goes. Taylor, I wish you best of luck with your upcoming fight and hopefully I will, hear, I will hear again from you in the future, maybe after your victory. Thank you very much for having me on. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye.